Good morning, ABC family. Welcome back to another Kids Talk. I pray that you're having a wonderful Christmas Sunday. Over the last couple weeks, we've been taking some time to understand God's story. When we understand God's story, we understand the importance of Christmas and how we are to live our lives for Jesus. ABC family, if you remember, at the heart of God's story is a story of shalom. Shalom is a Hebrew word commonly translated peace. But rather than think of it as a lack of war, it's better to think of shalom as completeness and wholeness. It's the idea of being completely satisfied, fulfilled, and blessed in God. Again, when I think of Shalom, I picture Vincent van Gogh's painting, Rest from Work. Two people who are completely content and enjoying life. They have put in a hard day's work and are now resting and relaxing, knowing that they have done well. I picture them experiencing complete shalom in the Lord. Now the story of God is a story of shalom. And we've seen how God's story is made up of four big parts. Creation, fall, redemption, restoration. Can you say that one with me one more time? Creation, fall, redemption, restoration. Creation is when God created a perfect world in which shalom was experienced. Last week, we saw the fall in which humanity sinned and shalom was lost. Today, we'll look at the third part of God's story, redemption. Redemption in which Jesus came and shalom was given. And next week, we'll conclude with restoration in which Jesus will return and shalom is restored. Four parts of God's story. Creation, fall, redemption, restoration. Where shalom was experienced, shalom lost, shalom given, and shalom restored. So ABC family, today, let's look at the third part of God's story. Redemption. Let's start with God's promise to his creation. Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. A child will be born to us. God will give a son to us. He will be responsible for leading the people. His name will be Wonderful Counselor, Powerful God, Father who lives forever, Prince of Peace. Power and peace will be in his kingdom. ABC family, God promises that a prince of shalom will come, someone who will bring completeness and wholeness to the world. And do you know who that prince of peace is? That's right, Jesus. And as you know, on Christmas Day, Jesus was born into this world, and Jesus lived a perfect life and gave his life upon the cross. And through trusting Christ's work on the cross, we are given peace. Shalom is given. Colossians 1.20 And through Christ, God decided to bring all things back to himself, things on earth and things in heaven. God made peace by using the blood of Christ's death on the cross. ABC family, we have been given shalom through Jesus. That's what redemption is all about. Redemption is a big word, which means being saved from our sins. It is God overcoming the fall through Jesus. And because we have redemption, we are now back to being at peace with God. Remember how we thought of creation being a completed puzzle of Vincent van Gogh's painting? And then we saw fall, the fall like losing pieces of a puzzle? Redemption 
is like if someone found the missing pieces and started putting it back together again. And that's why Christmas is so important. It's the beginning of shalom being given. Next week, we'll see when shalom is fully restored, when the puzzle is once again complete. But until then, ABC family, with this being Christmas Sunday, let us give thanks like the angels on the day of Jesus' birth. Let us have Christmas worship. Luke 2, 13 and 14. Then a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel. All the angels were praising God, saying, Give glory to God in heaven, and on earth let there be peace to the people who please God. ABC family, have a wonderful Christmas. I'll see you next time.